collagen back and it's collagen it's back because he's in collagen he's back he's in collagen he's back he does collagen he's back he does collagen he's back collagen back and collagen back and collagen back welcome back to the collagen back podcast this is season one episode two and i am joined by my friend zach and i am honored to have zach as my first guest on the first official podcast i had an intro episode of just me talking it probably sounded horrible so i'm glad i have another voice to uh come along with mine um so yeah so zach is my first guest so let's introduce hello. him hello everybody uh i am zachary uh also known as sparky on floor um yeah yeah let's, let's get to it yeah so if y'all hear any background noise my room is right by the stairwell so you might hear some of that noise um but we're gonna try to ignore it so yeah as soon as i made up my mind that i was going to start this podcast i immediately knew zach was going to be my first guest <laughs> i'm like i have i just it has to be zach he had been talking to me about um the podcast and i'm like well when i make it you're gonna be my first guest so we um have zach in person <laughs> So, so Zach, tell us a little bit about yourself. I really don't even know a whole lot about you, where you're from, kind of your upbringing, and just any kind of random facts that you want to share about yourself. Yeah, so um, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, some random facts about me. Um, I enjoy drone racing. Um, love that. I built two 3D printers. Um, yeah, I'm a freshman at Letourneau, and so, yeah. Very nice. Cool. Um, so, is there so drone racing sounds really interesting? Is there any other like just random, totally just random things that like you want to mention about yourself? Uh, I was homeschooled uh, my entire I life. I was too. Not um, my entire life, but I was homeschooled. <laughs> nice. Um, I have two older siblings. Uh, yeah, they're they're very cool, very chill. Um, yeah. Very cool. Okay. So, um, how's, how would you say your first semester at college has been? It's been a weird semester, so uh, you probably have a very unique story because my first semester at college was just kind of the run-of-the-mill first semester at college, but you've had to deal with the pandemic, with people going into isolation, your RA going into isolation <laughs> before you really even <laughs> met him. So, how has your first semester been? Yeah, it's definitely been a really crazy um, first semester. The uh, RA getting quarantined within the like first two weeks, that was wild. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's been um, definitely a very different experience than what I thought. Um, it's definitely better than what I expected coming into this. Um, and I know like a lot of people think it's harder for like the freshmen coming in, but honestly, I would say it's probably harder for the upperclassmen who like this is out of the norm for the normal like semester but for the freshmen it's like oh this is normal this is just how it is yeah that's something when i was coming back and being a an other not the ra but being another leader on the floor i'm like okay it's gonna be a lot different for us for the people coming back because the freshmen who knows what the freshmen are gonna think <laughs> because it's so different for them and as upperclassmen, we need to kind of be there for the freshmen mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, help them out and stuff. And then when our RA went on a quarantine, literally, I think it was the second, like it was close to like the second day of school, I think, is when he went in. I'm like, well, I'm kind of the next one in charge. So <laughs> mm -hmm. apparently now I'm an RA. I didn't expect to be that. But so, yeah, it, it was really weird to uh, just go in and have it be really different um and I, I i am surprised at how well the freshman class has done this year i was pretty worried about just how the freshmen are going to take it because it, it first of all it's a really hard school we're at like it's not mm -hmm. easy classes are not easy and just adjusting to the social life isn't easy um but you you your class has handled it really well so i'm mm -hmm. super happy that y'all have done as well as you have mm -hmm. i've been really impressed i was sure we had some breakdowns or at some point yeah uh, but yeah it's all been pretty good 
Uh, no break though. That's yeah, that sucks. That's dude. a little intense. <laughs> yeah, it's very intense. Just having to go f- like fourteen weeks straight through without any kind of break is brutal. Um, so yeah, I totally agree with you there. So you said drone racing at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Do you have any other hobbies or things you like to do in your spare time? Uh, so well, the weird thing about me is I don't actually play a lot of sports at all. Um, so I grew up with engineering as my sport. Nice. So <laughs> I did uh, FRC robotics um, for five years um, and had a great time with that. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Very cool stuff. Um, and then I, I did do archery for a while. Uh, so if you want me to ever hit a target, I can do that, wow. but only standing that. still <laughs> and only a large target. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So, are you like super? Would you say you're pretty good at drone racing, like racing drones? I am pretty okay at drone racing. Pretty okay, I've had a fair share of uh, drones end up uh, in water, um, <laughs> on the ground, yeah. um, and in pieces. <laughs> nice. So, when you're talking about these drones, are they like expensive drones that you race, or are they just kind of like a regular, like cheap drone? Uh, they're like medium kind of price range. Um, yeah. I build them all myself. Wow. Um, and That's so cool. you definitely put a lot of heart and soul into it. So when you see yeah. it break, you're like, oh no. <laughs> but then you also remember, ah, yeah, I can just fix that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're very creative with all of that stuff. I've warned that about you. You're probably the most, cr- one of the most creative people <laughs> I've met. Just be able to like make stuff and like just say, oh yeah, I can do that. I'm like, dang, I do not have that creativity. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's really cool. Um, so speaking of things that are really cool, you have a, your major is a new major at this school. Yep. It's me- mechatronics. Is that me- what it's mechatronics. Called? Because when I looked it up before, when I was preparing this, I typed in megatronics, like <laughs> M-E-G-A, and that's what I thought it was called. And then when I looked it up, it's like, oh, it's mechatronics. That's mm-hmm. interesting. So tell us a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so uh, new degree to Letourneau. Um, I heard about it um, from one of the administration people here, and they're like, yeah, even I don't know a lot about it. And so <laughs> I started researching it. Um, it's a mix between um, electrical and mechanical um, with a little bit of like computer science in there too. Um, it kind of gets you through the intros of like both electrical and mechanical, so you learn kind of, you learn both. Um, but not into like very in depth. Hmm. Interesting. So what what are your what are your like goals for Megatron? Like what are you trying to get to for your degree? Like what do you want to do? I guess with that. Um, I really want to design things. Uh, Clearly, I lo- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love building things, working on projects. Yeah. Um, a lot of rapid prototyping, doing wow. things nonstop, really fast. Um, and helping people like solve problems and stuff and that's really cool mm-hmm. yeah that'll come in handy I mean I think that's so cool about like just engineering in general how engineering is like one thing and then I'm a business person it's mm-hmm. like they work so well together like before I just thought of engineering and business as two so totally separate things but they really work together really mm-hmm. well yeah. so I think that's really cool maybe we can work on a project one day entrepreneurship <laughs> that'd yeah that'd be really cool um, all right, so tonight, there's a lot of stuff going down. Oh, now, yes. not tonight when you're tonight. when you're listening to this, but tonight when we're recording this, there's a lot <laughs> going down. So tonight is actually the presidential election, so we're not going to talk about that oh, too for, much. I forgot that that's tonight. But yeah, that's to, no, that's not big. The big <laughs> news is what I'm going to get to in a second. Um, but yeah, so the presidential election is tonight. So when you're listening to this, um, we're we're happy right now. We might not be in a couple hours, so... We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But or when you're watching, listening to this, you we might still not know what happened. So that's interesting. Yeah. But this, um, this may never come out. The world may end in ten days. Oh, <laughs> I hope not. I hope we're still here. Um, so tonight we got stuff going down. So we are doing what they call a four run, <laughs> and. Um, it is something that's really cool about college. I think it's one of the cooler things about college. And I don't know 
how popular it is like everywhere else or if it's just like a Laterno thing I'm pretty sure it's probably popular other places too but for about this kind of four run that we're doing tonight is something epic so basically what it is is we at Laterno have a sister four we're brother we're their brother four we they're our sister four um, and we kind of just are kind of made like built-in friends kind of with their four so like we hang out together we do events together stuff like that um, so what a four run is is basically one one night or I guess you can do it in the day but it's easier to do it at night when everybody's asleep you go in and you just like raid their hallway and everything you just decorate it do whatever because there's different themes like we're doing a Christmas theme tonight mm -hmm. um, but you can do any kind of theme you can think of honestly um, so you, we're just going to go in and decorate their hallway and do little crazy fun stuff. We made gift bags for each of the girls. We're filling their hallway with 500 balloons, I think, something yeah. like that. 504 balloons. 504. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so that's what we're doing tonight. So I have to ask you, are you ready for this? I am very ready for this. Uh, this has been a long time of planning yes, uh, to get to this. I heard about this the first week. Yeah. I was here about a floor run, and I was very excited for it. Um, so, yeah, it's been a great experience getting to prepare for all yeah. that. And, and our RA, Asher, has kind of enlisted you and one other freshman mm -hmm. as the leaders of this floor run. That's never happened before. Usually it's the upperclassmen that handle it, but Asher just gave you all the keys and said, you you go ahead and plan it. So you're, you're the boss. So you're my boss for the next <laughs> uh, couple hours. Yeah. But so how has planning been for you because i know i've done some stuff on the side as well but mm -hmm. being the mastermind of everything how like how has the planning gone like what what all have you done uh it's definitely been interesting getting everyone's schedules to align and making sure we're hitting like the proper deadlines for some things we have some long 3d prints that are going yeah um and we haven't had to do some repairs on those <laughs> um Dang. yeah a lot of late nights uh, but it's been a really good time uh, getting to actually like fit all of these pieces together and plan this with people and uh, really get everyone involved um, and helping in some way. Yeah, that's really cool. I know in years past, um, we did two floor runs my freshman year last year, um, and it was nothing near as involved as this one. Like our ones last year, it's like, yeah, we'll just do some streamers and blow up some balloons and then just make little notes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, this one, we've been preparing this for almost a week at this mm -hmm. point. Yep. Last year, we literally did the day of, we made some sticky notes and just <laughs> went, put up streamers. But this year we're going all out. Like we've literally had, I would say probably six or seven, eight people working on it. Um, and it's really cool. And tonight we're still not done. There's gonna be a balloon team that are gonna be mm -hmm. blowing up all the balloons tonight. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to get to it at 2 a.m. So that'll be that'll be really fun to go um, with COVID. We have to limit it to eight people going in at a time, but mm -hmm. it'll still be really fun. I'm really excited for it. And I'm sure you are, too. Yep, that's awesome. All right. So to kind of end this off, I'm not sure how long we're at right now, but we'll just end with some questions. So these questions I'm going to ask every guest that comes on my show. Um, and I'm interested to see the different answers that I get because I feel like with some of these answers we're going to get some depending on the person's mood and kind of where they are in life we're going to get some different answers so my first question Zach is if you could live anywhere in the world where would you live honestly Texas Don't, ugh, I thought you were going to say I, why Texas you're from <laughs> here's the thing I love uh, hot weather um, so when I came here and it was 100 degrees, I was like, yeah, I love this. Mm. Um, I do not get along well with the cold. Um, Interesting. So, yeah, Texas, pretty great. Hmm. Is there anywhere specifically in Texas <laughs> you'd want to go? Uh, I don't know. Don't say I, El Paso because nobody wants to go to El Paso. <laughs> no, no one really, wants to go to El Paso. It's really hot there. But <laughs> <laughs> um, love San Antonio. Um, yeah. I went there with some family sometime and a uh, very cool city. Um, very nice and like kind of clean. It looks really cool. 
I don't know what it'd be like to live there, but yeah, probably it's terrible to live there. I don't know. You can ask my roommate. He's from San Antonio, so <laughs> ask him how it is. Um, yeah, I know for me, uh, I live in Houston. I would not want to, if I could live anywhere, it, I mean, Houston's great, but I would not, if I had a choice where I could be like, oh, move to this place, I'd probably move to maybe Colorado. I don't know. I've never cool. been to Colorado, but I've heard awesome things about it. Up in the mountains in Colorado? Yeah. That's awesome. But I have a feeling, or maybe somewhere even like in uh, Italy or some some place like that. I don't know. God. I know my parents went to Italy last year and they said it was amazing, but um, yeah, I haven't been to a lot. Of, I've been to California and Florida, but I've I've only been out of the out of the U.S. once, and I was on a cruise. So mm-hmm. I haven't been a whole lot of places. But <laughs> you haven't been on the land. <laughs> no, I have been, not. In I've the been, water, <laughs> I've been in the water. I actually did. We got out of the cruise boat and went in the Cozumel. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I haven't really been anywhere else out, outside. All right. So next question kind of random i literally randomly thought of this so on a scale one to ten how happy are you today (laughs) Ooh, today um today is around a eight eight that's pretty good yeah very very excited very happy today yeah um yeah that's awesome i'm glad to glad to hear that glad glad that the leader of the forerun is happy because (laughs) if the leader was not happy nobody else is gonna be happy i don't get stressed very easily so uh that's good usually uh optimist is how i would describe myself that's good i'm glad we need more of those in the world (laughs) today um all right so this this is going to be a weird question and i don't know if many people are going to have an answer to this right off the top of their head but what would you what would you say it's the favorite moment of all time in your life. Like the one moment where you're, you're like, this is the best time ever. Um, there's like two separate times. Uh, there's actually three. Um, favorite moment um, when I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. Um, yeah, that's, that's the most important moment. Mm-hmm. Um, second is my sister's wedding. Uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, getting to see like all my family and friends and stuff there and celebrating with them uh, just like an awesome time and then uh, my third moment is definitely my silly moment where I'm standing in a national park um, and there's a picture of me and if you find me I'll show you this picture um, I'm clutching a, a bag of pretzels and I have them just falling out of my mouth oh, wow. and I'm like waist deep in water <laughs> and, Wow! yeah if you see me uh, I'll show you the picture that's cool. I want to see that after this. Um, all right. Um, let's see. This one's interesting. If you could have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would they be? Ooh. This this is actually this is a very tough question. Yeah. Um. I'd love to have dinner with George W. Bush. Okay. That's I not think, who I thought you were going to say. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, yeah. I don't know why he made the top of the list. Um, a lot of people would say Abraham Lincoln or something. That'd be pretty cool. George Washington. George Washington? <laughs> yeah. <know. laughs> so do you have any of anybody else, like your favorite like celebrity or like somebody you admire? I know one person that you're missing that should be up there. Oh, now I'm really curious. I wonder who I'm missing. Um, ooh, Robert Downey Jr. would be pretty cool if we were talking about yeah. celebrities. Okay. Now I'm really curious about what you think. I'm Just the big JC. Jesus. The big Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He mm-hmm. would be on my list, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, figured yeah. I'm I'm already talking with him all the time, but hey, having dinner would be cool. Having not, dinner not, with him, not Last Supper though. Hopefully not the not. Last <laughs> Supper. Yeah, you want it to be where? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be here after we're done with this, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So, your three: Jesus, Robert Downey Jr., <laughs> and um, who else? George W. Bush. Oh, actually, I'm gonna substitute one in uh, <laughs> Tesla. Uh, that'd be awesome. Meaning Nikola Tesla. Is that how you print? I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is? I don't. Not off the top of my head. I don't know who that is. Um, Don't roast me, please, because he probably is somebody really famous that I don't know. He's a very small inventor. Not small inventor. 
weird dude, uh, <laughs> but really interesting engineering things and stuff. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. Those are some. That'd be that'd be interesting. I'm sure that'd be an interesting dinner with those mm-hmm. with the all four. <laughs> mm, all four at one time. That'd be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and to end it off, is there anything else you want to say to the public about anything else? About anything else? Um, Just about any random fact, uh, quote that you want to say, I don't know. Random fact or quote? You don't Um, have to, but if you just have something. uh, One that I will, a quote that I will quote uh, frequently sometimes. uh, An eye for an eye makes the world blind. (laughs) Um, that's a quote by Gandhi. Nice. Um, I don't know why it comes to my mind. Not Buddhist or anything. (laughs) Um, yeah. All right. Um, Sweet. Um, all right. So where can people find you on social media if they want to reach out to you? And, uh, yes, you can find me on the buzz app. (laughs) The (laughs) The buzz app. Um, Only Laterno students will know that, but... (laughs) Um, or you can find me on my actual social media pages, um, Instagram, Zachary Wingert. Um, I'll be there. Um, you can try to follow my Snapchat. Chances are I will not answer you. Dang. I know. Yeah, he. It's we, a cold we, shoulder. We, we, we tried to keep a streak at the beginning of the semester, and you were you just weren't having it. So I, I just I w- stopped trying. <laughs> I was dedicated to not having a streak with anyone. Yeah. Everybody, try to get Zach comment comment in the comment section. Just say Zach start a streak with Nick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, it's all right. It's, it's just for some people. Some people like it. Some people don't. I'm just mm-hmm. one of those who do. So anyway, okay. Thank you so much, Zach, for coming yeah. on to my first. Uh, podcast, not my second podcast technically, but the my, but my mm-hmm. first one with the guest. So thank you so much for coming. I'll definitely have you back on. Thank you so much soon. for having me. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So follow the podcast at um, at College and Back on YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, Instagram, and Twitter. It's all College and Back, the same same name. Um, and you can follow my main Instagram at Nick Steven seven one zero. Thank you all for listening to this podcast. Have a great day. And we'll see you Make sure next time. Like and subscribe. Oh yes, like and, subscribe. like and subscribe. This is going on YouTube also. I <laughs> forgot. I was just thinking podcast, <laughs> Spotify, but no. Also, follow me on Spotify. That'd be awesome too. Um, but thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>